your thoughts on retail. Yeah, well, I think first off, Home Depot, I think, is getting a hangover here after the party a little bit, right? Talking about, like, home sales are down, so people aren't moving as much. Do-it-yourselfers, I think all the projects from the pandemic are probably done at this point. So they don't have a lot of levers they can pull. Walmart, on the other hand, sells groceries. And, you know, right now we know the consumer is spending more on groceries. They're spending on travel. And that consumer spending number last week was amazing. I mean, there's no denying that the consumer is spending right now. So I think it's like you don't need a weatherman to know which, which way the wind blows. And that is, despite high inflation, and I've said this week after week, you know, the consumer really isn't falling off the cliff here. And I think it has to go back to wages, right? Yeah. Wages are staying strong, even as, you know, if you look at consumers going through their pandemic stimulus, you know, Jamie Dimon talks a lot about that. I think what offsets that is the fact that, hey, my wages are going up. I'm going to spend more money, and I think that's what's going to save the economy. It's a good year. point that you mentioned, but you know what? One of the issues for Home Depot was the fact that it had to take on all of this new cost because they had to give people raises, and they had to, you know, answer the call of employees who wanted more in terms of benefits. I mean, is that wage issue a problem for corporate earnings this year? Oh, 100%. And I'm, you know, as a small business owner, I'm feeling that pain yeah. as well. No fun, pun intended, but I sense pain. Um, no, I think a billion dollars I have to spend uh, in, in actual wages this that's year, right. an increase. So, and I think that's going to be a problem for most companies. But offsetting that is you have supply chains that are starting to normalize. Lumber costs are down 50%. Uh, oil prices are down significantly from last year. So I don't think inflation is going back to 2%, mm. like the Fed wishes and dreams. I think they'll just change their target eventually. Um, but I do think that's going to keep the economy running is the fact that that wage growth is going to stay strong because we have a labor shortage. That's not going away. That's going to be a problem for every company moving forward. And by the way, corporate margin.